years I've been thinking about building a trailer that I could simply pull behind my vehicle and set up, have it set up level on both, you know, both left and right. And to be able to use that thing for long range shooting and also I wanted to have a, a deer blind, to use it in a deer blind. Well anyway, this model trailer I have is a model 5500. And I want to go through the features on this trailer one by one. The thing I like about the little dolly wheel on my trailer, that gives me the ability to put this thing wherever I want to. I mean, I might have a certain place I want to store it, whether it be in the garage or wherever. But anyway, this allows me to push this very easily and move it, you know, like wherever I want. Like I can steer it. And it's just, I mean, just super handy. Otherwise, it gets more difficult to try to lift this. Now, the trailer is that heavy. The trailer is only about 1,600 pounds. Uh, but with this dolly, it makes it really easy. But also, when you go to hook up, and I'll show you right here, when I go to hook it up to the receiver hitch, I can stop it where it's really close. And then I get it here, and then I, and I lower my jack. And simply remove the dolly. Take my uh, lower here on the oops. That is a whole lot handier than trying to do that by hand. Okay, the other another feature on the trader. When I'm getting ready to go down the road and stuff, I mean I wanted something where this thing could ride really smooth. Or when I'm in tough terrain, like out there at a prairie dog time or something, where everything gets really rough. So what we did, we put a rubber torsion bar suspension. When I'm going down the road, I mean, this thing rides like a baby buggy. And that's really important, like when I'm pulling it and stuff, it just does an excellent, excellent job. Anyway, rubber torsion bar suspension. Okay, now I'm going to level the trailer out. I simply take a level put it across my table this way and I want to use my jacks that I have these special made pins so where I can use my 3 h drill to raise and lower these jacks and you'll notice that the jacks are at an angle I have the jacks at a 25 degree angle also the pads down below are at a 25 degree angle so it's going to hit the ground straight but that's what keeps the trader so solid but anyway let me level it back in Come to this one and look at my bubble. Okay, that there, I think I'm set. Okay, that there it is level also this way. And that's very important when I'm out shooting stuff because every time that I move my table, my table has to be in a level position. And right now, anyway, when it's set up on these jacks, I mean it's 1600 pounds, it is like absolutely rock solid stable. out there in a prairie dog town I mean it can get really super hot and not only that I do not want the sun shining in my face you know when I'm looking through the optic uh, now I have a canvas I'm going to roll out on the top here and that's going to be optional either a canvas or if one would want something stationary we would simply have a stationary metal top on it uh, but anyway I'm going to roll this out it's not super difficult to hook up tie-down straps. Hook it there, pull it here. Okay.
and there and that part is hooked up and like I said it's just a huge difference I mean when you are sitting in the shade and now I'd also have for the side which is very important I have this canvas one that I simply hook here just like so and that keeps the sun from coming in obviously from here I have this loaded with the uh, shot uh, there are some times where I do have a tight house trap by something to make that tight but I can move this from this side to the other side because the sun's always going to be coming in at an angle so I can use the both of us coming in from the south or on the north uh, but anyway like I said the top one is going to be optional if you don't have to roll it out we're going to have a stationary one and we'll simply weld the one up there for you Okay, the other thing I've always thought about is like when I'm out shooting and I'm developing a load, it's always nice to have a spotter. Now a lot of times when the spotter is standing maybe to the left of me or to the right of me, sometimes it's a little bit hard to see where my bullet is impacting. So I thought wouldn't it be better to have the spotter directly behind the shooter. So here, I got a set where I dropped a seat, an accessible seat in here. I come up and here, I'm directly behind my guy doing the shooting. Now I do not have, uh, I'm going to build an adapter, this, right now I'm using binoculars, I'm going to build an adapter that clamps on here that's going to hold my spotting scope. But this is just very handy, I mean this seat is fully adjustable, you know up and down, and even the backrest is adjustable on two different spots. But anyway this is very very convenient when a guy's out there and you have your spotter sitting directly behind you. Okay, here's the best part of the whole thing. My model 2500 shooting bench, which I designed, it bolts directly to the table. So it's going to allow me the whole, you know, 360, even though it's a trailer I'm going to maybe use because of these bars, you know, I'll be able to maybe use like whatever, you know, 230, 40 degrees. But this just gives, gives me all kinds of flexibility. I also have a brake on here. You're going to see two brakes, it's only going to come with one. I normally do not use any brakes when I'm shooting because I have the bearing set to once I move it, it stops, I release the shot and I shoot. Uh, but the table also tilts, just like my 2500, it's the same thing, I can tilt the table if we're up there on a hill. Seat adjust by simply spinning it, and, uh, but this system combined with uh, putting the rest on here and having it level and rock solid gives me the flexibility, I mean to shoot, I mean it and long distances. And the other thing is I put two storage compartments, one on each side. I have my rifle rest in there, I have my ammo in there. It's just so much more convenient to take it out of there instead of unloading my van or a pickup. Okay folks, well there's the features of my model 5500 shooting trailer. And I can guarantee you I've been using this now for going on close to two years. That there's absolutely nothing that's more portable and more solid and just a joy and fun to use and easy and fast to set up and uh, so anyway I don't know the exact price now but I will have that on online here you know shortly and uh, hey uh, give me a call let's talk about it <laughs>